Hello Displorers, welcome back to another exciting video where we shall be shining the light on one of Africa's entertainers making Africa proud. In this video we shall be shining the light on Genevieve Naji and we'll be looking at her journey to becoming the queen of Nollywood. Genevieve Naji is a Nigerian actor, movie director and producer. She was born in Basie, Imo State, Nigeria and grew up in Lagos. The foot of eight children, she was raised in a middle class family. Her father worked as an engineer and her mother as a nursery school teacher. She attended Methodist Girls College, Yaba, Lagos, before transferring to the University of Lagos where she graduated with a bachelor's degree in creative arts. While at the university, she began auditioning for acting jobs in Nollywood. Genevieve has acted in some of the most popular movies in Africa such as Girls Court, Blood Sisters, Sharon Stone and Road to Yesterday, just to mention a few. She's broken several records, won several awards and most importantly, she stood the test of time. Today, she's one of the most bankable and respected actors in Nollywood, but that hasn't always been the case. She had to work her way to the top. Dear Displorers, we are sure most of you are actually wondering how she actually did it. Well, buckle up as we take you to Nanji's journey to fame and fortune. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Talking about her early beginnings, Naji started her acting career as a child actor in the then popular television soap opera Ripples in 1987 at the age of 8. After several auditions and rejections, she was eventually introduced into the growing Nigerian film industry with the movie Most Wanted at the age of 19. Her brilliant performance in the movie landed her another role in the movie titled Camouflage, where she starred alongside stars like Ramsey Noir. At this point, Genevieve Naji had become a household name in the Nigerian movie scene. In 2002, she took Africa by storm in her brilliant performance in the critically acclaimed movie Blood Sisters, where she played alongside Patience Ozoko, Omotola Jalade, and Tony Omez, just to mention a few. At this point, Genevieve commanded so much respect in the industry and was an international superstar. Due to how famous Genevieve Naji had become, she decided to venture into music. In 2004, Naji signed a recording contract with EKB Records, a Ghanaian record label, and released her debut album, One Logo Logo Line. It was a mix of R&B, hip-hop, and urban music. Despite all efforts put in the album, the album was a commercial failure. She received a lot of criticisms from both her colleagues in the movie industry and stakeholders in the music industry. After trying music and failing woefully at it, Genevieve decided to focus her energy where she had expertise, movie making. Same year, Genevieve was voted as the face of Lux, a very popular soap brand at the time. She started making money not only from movies, but also from brand ambassadorial deals. In 2010, Genevieve featured in the critically acclaimed and award-winning movie, EJ, where she played alongside both local and international actors. By the end of 2010, Genevieve was the highest paid actress in Nollywood and one of the richest at the time. Despite her success, Genevieve kept on working, but at this time she became extremely busy with other businesses and her appearance in Nollywood movies reduced drastically. Though she appeared in fewer movies, she was still every young rising female actress role model. Now let's talk about her awards and recognitions. Genevieve Nadia has starred in more than 200 movies and throughout her very successful career, she has won quite a few awards and recognitions. She won her very first award in 2000, which was the City People Award, where she won in the category of Best Actress. At the maiden edition of Africa Movie Academy Award in 2005, she won Best Actress in a Leading Role, making her the first actress to win the AMA in that category. In 2008, she was nominated for the second time at the AMA, although she didn't win. In 2011, she won Best Actress at the Zulu African Film Academy Award for her performance in the movie, Mirror Boy. Same year, she won the award for Best Kiss in the movie for the movie Busting Out, where she played alongside Majid Michelle. Genevieve Naji has won the African Magic Viewers' Choice Award, Best of Nollywood Award, Golden Icon Academy Movie Award, and the Nigerian Entertainment Award, among others. She's also featured in some international shows and platforms, such as CNN, and was referred to by the Queen of Media, Opera, as the Julia Roberts of Africa, which to Genevieve was a privilege. From there, we dive straight into looking at Genevieve Naji, the businesswoman. At the peak of her career in the late 2000s, Genevieve decided to venture into another business path, 
In 2008, Naji launched the clothing line Saint Genevieve, which was a luxury clothing line with aim to donate its proceeds to charity. At the same period, she was the brand ambassador for several Nigerian brands and she was making quite some good money for herself. In 2015, she ventured into the business part of movie making, where she produced her first movie, Road to Yesterday. The movie was directed by Ishaya Bako. The film, which is co-produced by Genevieve Naji, is actually the actress' first effort as a producer. The movie is reported not to have performed well at the cinema, since she barely broke even with the movie. In 2018, she co-produced and directed her second movie, titled Lion's Heart. It starred Pet Edoche, Genevieve Naji, and Kem Owo. It was acquired by Netflix for $3.8 million on the 7th of September 2018, making it the first Netflix original film produced by Nigeria. Lion had premiered at the 2018 Toronto International Film Festival in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The movie was Naji's directorial debut, as well as Peter Okoye and Chibuzo Azibuike, also known as Fino's acting debut. The film was released worldwide on the 4th of January 2019 on Netflix. It was selected as the Nigerian entry for Best International Feature Film at the 92nd Academy Awards. It was the first time that Nigeria had submitted a film for the Best International Feature Film at the Oscar. However, on the 4th of November 2019, the Academy disqualified the film as the majority of the film's dialogue is in English and only about 10 minutes of the film is in Igbo. Genevieve has continued to set high standards for herself and will not settle for less. She's currently one of the highest paid actors in Nollywood and it's a privilege to have Genevieve Naji on your set. She has worked her way to becoming a role model to millions of young girls considering pursuing a career in acting. Genevieve Naji is a very strong girls and women activist. She advocates for Nigerian girls to be able to have a say in who they choose to marry. She's against early marriages for the girl child. Genevieve is strongly against abuse of women in the society. She says she's a strong advocate for social justice. Furthermore, Genevieve Naji is a strong feminist. She says her type of feminism is the type of woman who has the right to make her own choices and do whatever she feels like. Genevieve is not only respected in Africa because of her works, she's one of those Nollywood actors who is scandal free and does not necessarily portray a fake lifestyle on social media. Though she's decided not to marry, she has a grown-up daughter who looks just like her. Genevieve is rich, beautiful, classy and she's considered by many as the queen of Nollywood. A lot of up-and-coming actors will give anything to be in the same movie with Queen Jenny as she's popularly called by her fans and followers. With all the great work she's put into making African cinema a strong force to reckon with, Genevieve Naji has and will continue to become one of the most memorable actors in Nollywood for a long time and we wish her all the best in her future endeavors. So Displorers, are you a fan of Genevieve Naji? If yes, what Genevieve Naji movie made you become her fan? Do well to leave your responses in the comment section below and the best comment will be pinned. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to profile any of your favorite celebrities, do well to leave your request in the comment section below and we'll do our best to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.